pros here. We have got lots of things from the Dollar Tree. Affordable, affordable, affordable is today's theme. Superfood heroes, uh, health heroes, whoever you are, whoever you're feeding, we're going to cook some good stuff for you. And as you see, I've got my food cam set up. We're not using that quite yet, but welcome in. Congratulate yourselves for being here. Hopefully you learned something that you can apply so that you can be there for your loved one. Hey, we've got people coming in all the way from Germany. Hey there. He says, I'm here. Hope all is well. Absolutely. Um, um, you know what? AJS Road Tripping has a new Buy Me A Coffee page that I've got to showcase. And Celine, so happy to have you here. Good morning and welcome. Y'all, if you are an, a person that loves delicious food, today, Celine, Angie Albert, and AJS Road Tripping, as well as JT Corn Rings, we are cooking things from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I prefer my food organic. They don't have organic food at the Dollar Tree, but all of the research that I, I've done and continue to do, the doctors like Dr. Brooke Goldner, she reversed her own lupus. She's reversed so many other people's autoimmune diseases, including lupus, psoriasis, eczema, because those are autoimmune diseases, um, cancers as well. But anyways, they say her, uh, Dr. Esselstyn and his son, who's plant strong, they all say that even foods from the grocery store, non-organic foods will reverse these things. So look, Selena is saying, I recently cooked a whole meal for my gentleman friend and he loved it. Nice, wonderful. We're cooking two things today, y'all. So we have several things that we're gonna do. We're gonna definitely cook a smoothie because at the Dollar Tree, I found these amazing uh, smooth, fruit smoothie starters. So this is what it looks like, right? They're smoothie starters. It's in the frozen section because I went to three different sections, frozen, dried, and then like, packaged. So that's where I got like the oat milk, the almond milk, the pasta. And so, so glad to have you all here and make sure if you have not done so, please do what uh, G Albert has done and put in, don't do what G Albert has done, put in hashtag health heroes. He's put in everything but the right one, but hey, he's, uh, we love G Albert. He's our tech guy. So I will be creating a smoothie today. We're going to do our Faves 100 giveaway today. And we are also going to finish up with our uh, main meal because we also have with these vegetables that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree I'm gonna cook a potato dish with those because I like having fresh food with my frozen food so I had potatoes I almost always have onions and so I almost always cook onions and garlic with everything in addition to these frozen bags of broccoli right and they always have the stir-fry mix as well so I do have the winter blend, which is broccoli and cauliflower. And y'all know those cruciferous vegetables are crucial in helping us to uh, give us, giving us that sulforaphane, which is the sulforaphane in the broccoli and all of those things. Those are the things that help us fight cancer. Stir fry also has the broccoli in it. So thanks, Philip Waldo Jr. for putting in Health Hero, but you got to do it like G. Albert. Put the ES on the end. You got to put the whole thing in there, right? We're also going to be spicing up our food or seasoning it with... Now, one reason I use onions and garlic is because they're natural seasoners. But you see a lot of the people on like TV, like Tabitha Brown and all of those folks and whatnot. Thanks, Philip Waldo Jr., one of our favorite moderators. Um, you'll see them use garlic powder. So what you want to do is you want to definitely grab, if you have, if you don't have fresh garlic, they did have garlic powder and the only ingredient in it is garlic powder. So that's the very nice thing about the Dollar Tree. Y'all, they came through. Chopped chives, the only ingredient in it was chopped chives. Uh-oh, I just lost my, my uh, food camera. Let me get that one back. It's coming in. Uh, they also had... Italian seasoning. Y'all, this Italian seasoning has marjoram, sage in it, not just oregano, basil, and thyme. So it has those as well. But the chili powder, I thought it was interesting that this also had ground cumin, oregano, garlic powder, and this did have salt. This is the only one that had extra ingredients. I normally wouldn't buy this because anything with salt, salt was the last ingredient though. So I said, okay, you know, JBWR, come through. We got all of our favorite people here today. JT Coin Rings, the men are showing up. G Albert, Celine, it looks like it's just me and you who holding down the ladies. So thank you for being here, Celine. Uh, and also, Celine, if you haven't done so, put in hashtag health heroes. 
Y'all know that black pepper, simple old black pepper, it carries nutrients into your cells. So you always want to sprinkle black pepper onto your food if your seasoning salt does not already have it. Let's get right into, I'm going to make sure also, one thing I did not have is my secret here, my uh, so that I can type everything in and make sure I stay up to date on everything. One thing that I did not do, I didn't put hashtag health heroes on my end. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go ahead and get started with this meal because we've got to cook two different things, right? And the first one, y'all let me know, do you shop at the Dollar Tree? Have you been there for food? Because you can full fledged, like have, you can have a full meal from the Dollar Tree. So that's what we're showing you today. AJ is road tripping from Germany is saying black pepper is great for deterring insects. Wow, I didn't know that. Hey, we got another lady in here. Thank you, Nikki. The Everyday Life of an OCD is chick is saying good morning to me and everyone. Nikki, we have a smoothie that we've already started. And she's like, yep, Dollar Tree, yes. Y'all know Nikki can pretty much grocery shop from her backyard. But if you are a person that you eat cheese, you eat butter, they did not have non-dairy cheese. They had non-dairy butter there. So look, it was there. Yeah, which insects, please tell us more, uh, AJS Road Tripping. Which insects does black pepper repel? Because we would all like to know that. And do you mean like just by us consuming it? Do we need to put it on anything? Uh, or if it's in our system, that's what helps to repel. So let me tell y'all what I already have in here. I already have oats, chia, and a little bit of milk. Because guess what? This Dollar Tree not only had oat milk, and remember, this type of oat milk, when you get it in the carton, it lasts for unopened until January 31st, 2024. That is six months from now. That means if you're traveling, it makes it really easy to take this one with you. They also had almond milk, vanilla, and plain. So I did buy vanilla because I always get plain. And people say don't buy vanilla because it's just an additional additive that might be hiding something in your in your milk so i usually don't get flavored but for the kids i said okay i do it so i am going to yesterday i was talking about crack sugar and crack y'all know uh sugar is just as addictive if not worse than crack so today i'm going to actually sweeten this smoothie with the fruit because of course we do have a good fresh banana here. We do have these different smoothie starters. So I'm gonna let you all uh, help me decide which smoothie starter we're going to be adding to this particular smoothie. Um, I do have some craisins, just dried cranberries that I soaked in water. That's gonna be my sweetener. And I do have some dates. And now let me tell you why I have the dates because Trash Can Waves does not like dates. And I was like, you know what, just in case, <laughs> we need to tell Trash Can Waves something. We got you covered. Oh, AGS Road Tripping says, I used to sprinkle it at the thresholds and in the kitchen behind the fridge and the stove to keep away ants. So just sprinkle that black pepper and it keeps the ants from crossing that line. Sort of like the boric acid and stuff. And G. Albert says the Dollar Tree also has a lot of good candy as well as some healthy foods. Yep. When you're going to the movies and you need to put some box candies in your purse, go to the Dollar Tree. That's what we used to do. And uh, AGS Road Trippin has a very good nose and dislikes the scent of a lot of chemicals. He learned about the pepper trick from a home remedies book. Nice. That's so good to hear. I'm just going to show you all what these look like. These are the dates that trash can waves the test, but dates are literally sugar. It's a fruit, right? And they kind of, they're kind of hard. So I put these, y'all see how squishy they are? I put these into some warm water and then I took the pit out because of course the pit is very hard. So these are just straight up sugar and I'm gonna add that in there. And then underneath that date is where the craisins are. And the craisins, are where's the camera the craisins <laughs> are um you know i just added water and warm water and the nice thing is there is no expiration no trash can waves there's no expiration on them dates we're eating them they are getting in here today so i'm going to show you get you back onto the main cam so that y'all can let us know what have you purchased from the dollar tree it's so easy it's so quick to get in there pick up a few things and run out twenty dollars later you can have a week's worth of food. Now, AJ's Road Tripping is not a fan of dates either, but it, oh Lord, <laughs> went on three. What a waste of time. <laughs> so, okay, 
Forget the dates. You're dating women. Those, those women were a waste of time, huh? I'm going to now add into here one of these smoothie starters because we got bracket reviews. He's over in Nigeria, right? He does all the tech reviews and stuff. Let me know which smoothie starter should I now add to this, okay? The smoothie starter is just fruit. There are no other ingredients. So uh, <laughs> trash can waves, you are the date man. You're the one letting us know how to treat the ladies or you're letting the men know how to treat the ladies. So we know uh, you've got it going on. All right, so let's see what we have here. This smoothie starter has strawberry, banana, kiwi, and spinach. This smoothie starter has strawberry, banana, mango, and spinach. So do we want the kiwi, do we want the mango? This smoothie starter has stra blueberry, strawberry, mango, and spinach. Notice they all have spinach because I, for me, spinach is like a natural sweetener. And so bracket reviews, you haven't missed anything at all. We just are getting started. This is a 30 minute show. So the only thing you've missed is adding hashtag health heroes to the chat. This way you can hopefully be named an honorary uh, phase 100 hero. Uh, that means you might be a plant powered Titan, which means you would have gotten up to a hundred points of fruits and vegetables uh, for the day, just honorarily. So let's count how many we have in here so far. We've got bananas, dates, craisins. That's three different fruits in here. So five points each, that's 15 points. Whichever starter we use, they have four different fruits in them. So that's gonna give us four times five, another 20 points. So that's 20 in this, 15 in here. This one smoothie is gonna give us 35 points for the day, okay? So let's see what you all are saying right now. Lord, AJS Road Tripping is like, hope heroes. <laughs> Thank you, Bracket Reviews, for putting in hashtag health heroes. And thank you, AJS Road Tripping. Let's get back to this smoothie. What should we do, y'all? Should we do strawberry, uh, banana, and kiwi? Strawberry, banana, and mango? Should we do strawberry, banana, blueberry, and mango? Let me know, because they all have spinach anyways. So let me know what your favorite fruit is. Mango or kiwi. That's what we're trying to figure out. So Ania, if you're coming in, make sure you put in hashtag health heroes. We're eating from the Dollar Tree today and we're starting with a smoothie. We're not even using sugar because we just said yesterday sugar was crap, but y'all know I got my sugar right here on my cart. I do still eat sugar. Strawberry, banana, I mean, strawberry, banana, and mango. Okay, that's what AJ's Road Tripping is saying. Now, Coach Mary Ma is from Cameroon. So she knows all the good food. Let's see what she tells us. I don't know if she had, oh, Ananiya says mangoes, strawberry and okra, amen. <laughs> G. Albert, I know, right? Let's get the okra in there. And then let's see, Coach Mary Ma is definitely saying hello. So Coco, do you have a, do you have a preference with these smoothies? Strawberry, banana, mango, strawberry, banana, kiwi, because you have to be the taster. Those other kids are about to get up and taste as well. Blueberry. Blueberry, wait, blueberry, strawberry, mango, spinach, which one? They all have spinach. So blueberry, strawberry, mango, strawberry, banana, mango, strawberry, banana, kiwi. Strawberry, banana, mango. That's what AJS Road Trippin said as well. So, okay, let's get into this Dollar Tree smoothie, okay? So strawberry, banana, mango, and that those are the only ingredients in this one as well. So that's the nice part. When you look at the ingredients, you don't have to worry about a bunch of fillers and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna cut this bag open. It says to keep it frozen. And they look a little soft to me. Hold up, let me see what's going on with this. And I don't like the smell of this one. You know, it's, this is the one you just asked about. I'm gonna taste it because the first smell that I got, I felt like it was, um, it smelled like old bananas. And you shouldn't even smell old bananas, but let me taste it. Nah, y'all. Mm -mm. See, this is what happens when you shop at the Dollar Tree. You get what you pay for. Okay, so that's the dollar twenty-five wasted. Let me try blueberry, strawberry, mango, spinach. And let me tell y'all something about this. If all of these are bad, I still got my smoothie here, <laughs> just to start with, right? So, yep, great minds think alike, AJ is road tripping. And this is why you have to use your nose. This is why it really helps that when you are familiar with the flavor and taste of things, like I knew those dates were good. 
but these were um, not all the way frozen when I bought them. So I was thinking maybe they just put them in through the freezer. This one does not taste like vinegar. That last one had a vinegary flavor. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can work with this. This is the blueberry, strawberry, mango, spinach. Woo, I almost killed my kids. We don't want to do that. So this is where you always want to use every sense that you have, right? Let me find my mixer and my immersion blender. Y'all know this is in our Amazon store, blindguystories.com forward slash Amazon, or just go to the website, superfoodparents.com, scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen with our sponsors. Now, you know, we do have our, a new email as well, nutrition at superfoodparents.com. So nutrition at superfoodparents.com is our website, excuse me, our email. This particular blender, I love it. Hey, Danique Anthony, wow, thank you. This helps because, you know, AJ's road tripping was like, well, if all of them are bad, we're only out about $4, but now we're, we're up again. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Ooh. All right. is very thick because of the oats and the chia so it's almost like a chia pudding and so uh <laughs> let's see what g albert is saying put that bad food out there with aj's pepper to feed the ants right we might have to because ooh, they, they might have to go back to where they came from great scott thank you again to me <laughs> going to put part of this in here and then we're going to add the oat milk now this is very thick because of the chia seeds and because of the somebody's trying to call me i apologize if you hear that noise i'm going to use this oat milk yeah this blender the immersion blender let me get over here <laughs> that was about to fall this immersion blender is the goat it's a brawn brand and I told y'all I have recycled parts that I got in my original brawn 20 years ago and even up to now. So let's just add some of this oat milk in here. And a lot of people make their own oat milk because it's literally straight up oats and water. But when you buy it, it has all these other things like calcium carbonate, tricalcium phosphate, sea salt, gallum gum. And you know they say these gums are bad for us. So hey. <laughs> I'll move it away from the microphone. Yeah, I'll add a little bit more milk, fill this up, and then I'll pour it in there so that the whole thing can be full. I'm gonna just keep my fingers crossed, y'all, that this works out because again, the Dollar Tree, you gotta be careful. You gotta look at your expiration dates, regardless of where you're buying food from. Always check your expiration dates. That's pretty important. Uh, I know. You know what? Uh, AJ's road tripping. Every time I blend something, because he's saying that blender sounds powerful. This brawn is super powerful. It's, it should not be wearing a hard hat. Yeah. When I'm blending things in the pan when I'm cooking, I'm always getting splashed by the hot contents because, yes, this blender is powerful. And I can control the speed, as you can hear. Oh, good. Bracket Review says sounds better. Thank you, Bracket Reviews. Oh, Mateo, y'all know he's always showing us how to connect our tech and whatnot, but JBWR does fiber optics. And he says, so glad I tuned in today. I made a smoothie that came out like quick dry cement. I'm glad to see what I did wrong. Yeah, if it's too thick, just add more uh, liquid, add more milk, add more ice, add more water, whatever you're using to thicken it. Some people use juice. Mmm, -hmm. this is delicious. The only thing is it's not cold. So that's the only downside to it. Coco, can you taste this, please? And then you're probably gonna have to put it in the freezer, I mean, the fridge. I'm gonna just blend this all together a little bit. It's kind of ugly because you can see colors. Usually it's smooth. 
and it's usually like just pink, so you can't see like green bits. And people, not just children, I noticed adults and children, they have an aversion to green, seeing green in their foods. So here you are. Take that, hold it by the bottom and the side, and then just sip it a little bit. Let me know how the flavor is. Is it better than you thought it was gonna be? Because I saw your face when you were putting it to your mouth. You were looking like, ah. I just feel like it could be sweeter. You feel like it could be sweeter. All right, so this is where our addiction to sugar comes in, okay? So Coach Mary Ma, um, yeah, go ahead and put it in the fridge and take this one, please. Yep, thank you. And then I'll, I'll sweeten it a little bit later. I'll add a little bit more sugar. Y'all, we got to um, see who our Phase 100 hero is. So if you have not put in hashtag health heroes, please do so. Green and red when you're... <laughs> yeah, kids don't like seeing green. They don't like seeing red. And, and not just kids, but adults. Like I said, everybody really, I've noticed, they have an aversion to seeing those colors in their foods. Even though those are food colors, they're like, nope, I can't do it. So let me get my cleaning cloth here. This is my soapy cloth. I actually won this on somebody's channel. And so all of these things really come in handy to keep your space clean and organized. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Uh, so far though, the milks are safe. I did try these because I put some of this oat milk into my coffee earlier. So that worked out really well. Hey there, Richmond is here as well. Good to see you. Thanks for being here, Richmond. Uh, we see AJS Road Trip and says, Does, do dollar stores have natural sweeteners or raw sugar? You know what? They have both because I buy the Zolka sugar, which is a, a cane sugar, organic cane sugar. And I used to see that at the dollar stores here, the Dollar Tree. Because, you know, there's Family Dollar, there's Dollar General. This is Dollar Tree. And I will say that with the sugar, that particular sugar, Z-U-L-K-A, Zulka, that sugar, I'm going to turn the music down because my bandwidth is, I don't know why, it's it's going low. Uh, I paid the bill. But anyways, Zulka sugar it does not have bone char. So I didn't realize they were whitening sugar using bones, but... I don't know. So y'all, whoever wins the Faves 100 giveaway today, they are going to determine how many coffees I buy AJ's Road Trip. And because he has a new Buy Me A Coffee page that I'm going to show you all. And so this way, whoever wins your, your prize, you're not only going to be a uh, Faves 100 hero, an honorary one, but you are also going to be able to let us know how many coffees we're buying AJ is road tripping, okay? So first I gotta find this page. <laughs> buy me a coffee, let's go to buy me a coffee and let's go find uh, some supporters. So this way, if you have not put in hashtag health heroes, please do so now. Uh oh, look at G Albert. Oh, that's so sweet. You're gonna donate your prize to Ananiya. She is the one, most wonderful person. Um, we have such great people in these communities. You know, everybody is just a fan of each other. And it's a really, it's a really great um, experience uh, meeting people and everything. So I am going to put in, uh, AJ, tell me the name of your page, because I was just going to explore, buy me a coffee. Here we go. Search for creators. I can't remember if it's AJ is road tripping, but it's not. It's something else. Yep, I see it. Boom. AJ is road tripping, is living in a camper van in Europe. I'm going to show you all his page. So that way you can see what's going to happen. Whoever wins this, you're going to determine how many coffees am I buying AJ is road tripping, okay? Will it be five? Will it be 10? Will it be three? Okay, so look. This is his page right here. He has different posts on here where he's already shown the different rocks. You can see his van and he's got some German words on there, right? So it's a new page. That's your prize. So let's just see who is going to win. Trash Can Waves is in there chilling, telling everybody hello. And Anania is appreciating the love. Y'all, let's get into 
our faves 100 giveaway and see what happens. All right. Put in, if you put in hashtag health heroes, we'll see what's going to happen. Who will be our health hero today? All right. We've got Anemia, Coach Mary Ma, Bracket, uh, JBWR, DFD Life and OCD, DHJ, Philip Waldo Jr., Anemia, Coach Mary Ma, G. Albert, Bracket Reviews, DFD Life and OCD, JT Coin Rings. Wow. Y'all know JT Coin Rings will create rings live from coins, and he's always supporting people's channels. So, JT, if you're still here, let me know how many coffees should I buy uh, AJ's road tripping? Should I buy him one coffee, five coffees, 10 coffees? You let me know in the chat because we have a winner. Congratulations to you. Everybody's congratulating you like AJ's road tripping is. Uh, uh, Bracket Reviews is congratulating you. Hey, Coffee Talking Twerk says, I bought real stevia, stevia instead of Truvia for the first time. Mm -hmm. You won't ever go back to Truvia because it's a fake sweetener and it has that aspartame taste. I used to call it aspartame. I didn't know how to say the word, but everybody's congratulating JT Coin Rings on being an honorary Faves 100 hero. What does that mean? That means that he is a plant powered Titan, plain and simple. He automatically has had 80 plus points. Y'all see, we just made a smoothie from the Dollar Tree with 35 points of fruits and vegetables. We're about to make some uh, vegetables and potatoes. And so, yes, we'll see how many more um, fruits and vegetables we can get into that dish. Remember, every serving or every different type of fruit and vegetable that you have is worth five points. Also, if you're only up to 65 points, you're still a superfood Avenger. If you can get up to 50 points in a day, then you are still a faves crusader. So JT Coin Ring is uh, laughing. Absolutely. It's Coffee Talk and Twerk because y'all know Coffee Talk and Tech is a tech guy. That's where I got my backlights here uh, from his recommendation. And he's that person that he has serviced so many of us with tech information but he also is one of those people that used to get down and dance. So we call him talk, coffee, talk, and twerk. <laughs> so Omateo has been helped by him. JT, wait, hold up. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me know how many coffees should I buy AJ is road tripping. Because remember, AJ is road tripping has a new buy me a coffee page. And not only are you a plant powered Titan, you can let me know how many coffees I'm about to buy AJ right now. Will it be one, three, five, or 10? Okay, so please put a number in the chat because we have got to get uh, get on to our final uh, food because this show is almost over, y'all. We're like three minutes from finish, so we gotta hurry up. Coffee Talking Tech or Coffee Talking Twerk says, yo, Omateo, how are you, my friend? Y'all know that's bracket reviews. Omateo is bracket reviews. All right, so let's get back to our super chef creation for today. And that is going to be what I also got from the Dollar Tree. I got this uh, stir fry blend. I think I'm gonna do the stir fry blend because that's pretty much an easy one. You know, everybody knows the stir fry blend. It has peppers, it has broccoli, it has all these different things in it. So let's get it going. I'm gonna put this in to this pan. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pan on so that way, uh, the pan is on. All I've got to do is open this bag and hope it smells and tastes good because y'all know this came from the Dollar Tree. Put the whole bag in, y'all. I used to use part of a bag. Put the whole bag in. Don't ever use part of a bag. All right. And I'm going to also throw in a fresh onion and some garlic because I have both of those. Because this one little bag is not very much. It's only 12 ounces. And when you look at how much food you're cooking, then yes, you can always add that to pasta and have a full dish. You can always add that to some spaghetti noodles and have a full dish. Look, do your thing with these vegetables because of course the fruits and vegetables are going to really service you well. That means the fruits and vegetables are gonna give you fiber. They're gonna give you antioxidants. They're going to help you fight off the, I'm trying to see where I wanna put my pasta. I'll put it over here. They're going to help you fight off quite a few different things, right? Different ailments and whatnot. So my onion and garlic are down here. Let me throw in some, you know, they say you're supposed to put in some spices at the beginning of your cooking. So they, I even have everything bagel seasoning. So we got Lurking Pro looking in. Woo, thank goodness, because I was looking for the women. Hey there, Lurking Pro. How you doing, LP? <laughs> 
um, this everything bagel seasoning has minced garlic, coarse sea salt, sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, chopped onion, poppy seeds, and that's it. So this is really nice from the Dollar Tree. You know, you can get these types of things. So, uh oh, I got to put the lid on this because when this gets too hot, it uh, affects the camera. So let me put the, the lid on and let me throw this onion in there and throw in some garlic. Oh, Coach Mary Ma is adding broccoli to her lunch today. Well, you know, this blend already has peppers, um, carrots, broccoli, snap peas. Let's see, there's um, broccoli. Uh, carrots, broccoli, snap peas, peppers. So that's four things that I see in there. I'm adding an onion, that's five. So that's gonna give me five times five items they get five points each, that's 25, plus I'm adding onion, that's 30 points in this one dish. This is how you easily catch up to JT Coin Rings and become a plant power titan. JT Coin Rings, let us know how many coffees I should buy, uh, I should buy AJ's Road Tripping. Should I buy him one, three, five, or 10? Because you won and you get to choose, you get to let us know. So I'm just gonna coarse chop this. And, you know, Philip Waldo Jr. does not like onions. He had a job um, early on in life where he had to chop the onions, and he said that turned him off for good. He was done. And I'm going to, of course, chop these because the other vegetables are pretty big. Oh, thank you so much, Ani Nia. You said the way I super uh, multitask is so impressive. You know what? When you do something all the time, you can do it with your eyes closed, right? I'm going to add some of this everything basil seasoning in here. Because we've got Joshua Gabriel. Hey there, Joshua Gabriel. So happy to have you here. Good morning to you wherever you are. I'm on the East Coast time, like the New York time. So for me, it's 1148 a.m., almost 12 noon. I'm not sure where you're coming in from, but you can let us know. Another secret that I found out, you all, recently is that pickle juice is a good flavoring. So the Dollar Tree did have pickles. So now broccoli, onions, and carrots, Coach Mary Ma is saying, those are in here as well. So I hope you enjoy those in your lunch. I, my children like pickles. They had bread and butter pickles there too. And these don't have any added sugar. So that was really nice. I'm going to throw some of this everything bagel seasoning. I know it's unorthodox, but because it has salt and it has the sesame seeds, I want to get those sesame seeds in to increase the flavor profile, but also to increase the nutritional value because sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, sunflower seeds, all of those are so nutritional. So let's see. I need another salt though. Mm, let's see. What other salt do I want to add? This chili powder did have some salt in it. That came from the Dollar Tree. Let's try it, right? Uh-oh. Okay, thank you, AJS Road Trip. And he says pickle juice is also very good for endurance runners and hikers. So I'm going to just try a little bit of this chili powder to see if I feel like it makes it. Oh, AJS Road Trip and says Quita is a super mom for sure. Y'all know tonight, 7 p.m., I'll be on Black Girls Getting Their Shift Together on her channel, talking about how I'm a super mom and what's happening with the channel rebrand and all of that stuff. So definitely head over to Black Girls Getting Their Shift Together tonight at 7 p.m. And I will be doing a post for that, okay? So AJS Road Tripping is like, I'm new to it all. I'll have to sort it out after the show. <laughs> I will put in some of this chili powder. Lord, if y'all could have seen how much I put in there, let me show you. The nice thing is when I tasted it, I don't feel like it's going to be an issue, okay? Like the amount that I put in there. So let me just show y'all this Super Chef creation it's a stir fry and I'm going to just toss in a few potatoes. I'm going to chop the potatoes up a little smaller. Now these vegetables are going to create water, right? Y'all see how red these are? That's all the chili powder. I ended up putting in about a tablespoon of chili powder, but since this chili powder also had cumin and salt in it um, and oregano, it wasn't a very strong chili powder. So that's the nice thing about that. Now, if you have liquid aminos, they will almost immediately salt your food. And I do have liquid aminos, but not in this room right now. So I probably will just throw in some Himalayan salt. 
you know, they say you're supposed to salt your food. And when I say they, I'm talking about Dr. McDougal. He's all about the starch diet. He tells you that we are starchivores. We have been starchivores. We started out on tubers and potatoes and root vegetables, and there's no need to stop right now. And so he says, and Chef AJ as well, and quite a few others, Dr. Columbus um, Batiste, as well as Dr. Baxter Montgomery, Dr. They say finish your foods with salt at the end. Don't salt while you're cooking. Just throw the salt in at the finish. Let people salt their own food at the table. You flavor the food with the garlic powder or the garlic and the onion and those strong flavors that are going to give you that deep umami deliciousness, but let them salt it themselves. You know, Dr. Baxter Montgomery, Dr. Michael Greger, there are so many doctors that are in this food space that let you know to how to how how to best enjoy your food so that you are not just reversing some of your ailments, but you're feeling good every day, right? You just want to feel good every day because y'all know I have these amazing knees that I show off all the time. So let's see what you all are saying. If y'all think I should show off the knees, let me know uh, because JT has still not told us how many um, how many coffees to buy for AJ's road tripping. So we just got to do our own thing, I guess, and figure it out ourselves. Like, that's just the way it goes, right? People, you know, they come through and they are busy. And so they cannot always type in what they need to, or they're just listening. And so we appreciate the support. But what happens is we got to sometimes just take our own direction and get it done. So what I'm doing here is I am buying some coffees and then I'll show you all in the end. I sure hope I'm not sharing the screen. Do y'all see my card number? If you do, there ain't no money on there. Don't worry. You won't get anything. <laughs> okay. So let's see what happens. Oh, I could have just paid with GPay. You know what? Mm, mm, mm. Too late. Let's just do that. And let's see what happens when I share the screen for AJ's Road Trippin's um, Buy Me a Coffee. And then I'll put his Buy Me a Coffee link. Hey, we did it. We did it. Yes. I bought 10 coffees uh, for AJ's Road Trippin'. And so... I am going to share this with you all. I'm just going to copy this link right here and then I will drop it into the chat so that anyone else that wants to help AJ's road trip and get around Germany, then this is the link to do so. All right. And this is his BMAC link. You know, we call it BMAC for short. Buy me a coffee is like your virtual tip jar. You can run contests on there. You can do so many different things but it's a way for people to just give you that virtual tip so that if they like what you're doing, they can definitely participate. Also, we do have our own Buy Me A Coffee. So that means when you go to superfoodparents.com, you will scroll down and you'll see our Buy Me A Coffee there. Um, let's see. Hold up. Y'all know what? I can't even reach my own website. Let me, I was trying to show y'all my website with superfoodparents.com while these potatoes soften up because I'm just killing time until that happens. So let's see if it loads right now. Yep. When I put in www.superfoodparents, it worked. All right. Coffee Talk and Twerk says, congrats. And AJ is road tripping and saying, that was awesome and generous of you, Laquita. Oh, you'll use it on your vacation in Scandinavia. Yes, because y'all know. AJ has a few plans. He is going places. And so that's why he we got to support him. Joshua Gabriel is new here. So I hope you're learning some things. I hope you're enjoying the content. I'm going to show you all what this food is looking like because the onions are softening. And I didn't get a chance to add the garlic. I did throw the potato in there. So that way we'll have some. Uh oh, the, the camera is steaming up. Let me save the let me save the camera. Let's see. Let me put it here, put it here. This is just about done because, you know, the nice thing is that vegetables don't take long at all. So here's here are several different serving suggestions. I can always just add more potatoes. 
Good grief, the steam. Let's pull this back a little bit. Okay, I can always add more potatoes. I can always uh, put this over a bed of rice, over mashed potatoes, because remember, they have rice at the Dollar Tree as well. Don't buy those little rice packets with the seasonings. They have short grain and long grain rice. Okay. Oh, that's good. I'm glad your channel is growing, Joshua Gabriel. You're up to 703. And you know, all you need is 500 subscribers in order to be monetized and 3,000 watch hours. So Benita Applebaum, hey, go ahead with yourself. She says, yum, looks great. Yes. You know, I made our smoothie already from the Dollar Tree. I'm finishing up our stir fry and I threw a potato in there. And so, y'all, we are just about done. I'm going to grab my Himalayan salt to sprinkle on there. And then we're going to finish up and see um, how this tastes to the folks here. And if they like it, we'll do our super clap sign off. Yes, congratulations to Joshua Gabriel. We definitely celebrate folks over here. So let's see if we're ready for our super clap sign off. Y'all know what that means. If the food is good, then we play DJ is his uh, clap clap rhythm and we clap it out. We enjoy the day. We say goodbye just like that. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, after I show y'all um, my website, I didn't do that. See, I was celebrating AJ's road tripping and I was supposed to show you all what happens when you head over to Superfood Parents because if you're looking for solutions, we've got you covered. Right here on the home page, you can scroll down, you can join the mailing list. There's a simple form right there. You can check out the live show schedule to see what's happening see what shows are on this week. There's a video that will tell you all the stuff that's going on. So we try to update that every week. Uh, then of course we do nutritional education, community and support. Of course, we've got our plant-based treats and lots of games. So this way, if, you're, if you want to learn a lot of this stuff that I'm saying, you don't have to remember. I've done a lot of research. I've created a lot of games based off the doctor. Which food can I flax seeds be added to for a nutritional boost? And some of them are accessible so that way they have the um, the audio added to it. OK, so you can join the Health Heroes. This is where you can buy us a coffee by just clicking the green coffee cup. Uh Oh, buy me a coffee. Refuse to connect. I got to fix that because y'all can't buy me a coffee like that. But if you're looking for help, go under home and any of these pages like cough and cold solutions, environmental solutions. All of these pages have videos on them so that I'm a nurse. So I do have breathing exercises here. A lot of my patients are have respiratory conditions. So these breathing exercises, I've used these with people. Um, I'm a ventilator nurse. I've Yes, I got everybody covered. This sounds, smells like it's drying out. Let me hear and put the season in there. And y'all see this Amazon link. When you click that Amazon link, this is where it takes you to find any of our toolkits, right? So that means when you head on over to Amazon, you can see all the different lists that we've compiled so that you can find whatever you need. So if you need BBL help, plant-based treats for vegan essentials. Uh, also, we have things from our guests that they've created, books and whatnot. So yep, all of these resources are here for you right there on superfoodparents.com. All right, y'all. Let's see how this food is working out. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because I can smell that it's drying out. And of course, AJ is road tripping, is saying congratulations to Joshua. And so is Coach Mary Ma. I'm going to, oh, let me switch the camera so y'all can see it. Hopefully, since I turned it down, so much steam won't come out when I open it. Okay. I'll open it a little bit this way. So this, uh oh, I opened it the wrong way. That didn't work out. Let's see what happens. I'm going to shake some salt in here, and that's about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt because this is for a full dish. And, you know, potatoes tend to take up a little bit more salt, but all right, Coco, it's on you. Uh-oh, she said, what is it? Oh, it's just some good food, baby. You know, I'm going to bite a potato and see if it's soft. Mm-hmm. If the potatoes are done, the dish is done. Thank you, AJ. He says it looks delicious. You know what? All these colors will truly call you. I'll put another pinch of salt in. And all you need to bring is a fork, please. Now, I'm going to show y'all what my original plan was to season this. 
I found this seasoning packet at the Dollar Tree and it's called a sipping broth. However, I felt like this would have been great for seasoning because the only issue, the only ingredients are um, yeast extract, dried onion, sea salt, dried garlic, rice, rice hulls, dried basil, dried carrots, lime powder, lime oil, because you know lime will give you that uh, boost of flavor also. Cayenne pepper, dried tomatoes, white vinegar powder. Yep, that lime and that vinegar. When you get those acids, they give you a really nice flavor profile. And it also has dried celery. So I'm going to try this later on for my fa. Okay, so cocoa. I'm going to give you a little bit in one of these little cups. Once I find them. Okay, just put some on the spoon. I'll put some on this spoon right here. And then you can just use your uh, fork to eat some off the spoon, okay? All right, y'all. I don't know if we're going to have... Uh, oh, Philip Waldo Jr. says, hey, Coco. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know, right? The chat is wild. And I know food always looks inviting. I know it always tastes delicious. Yes, Coach Mary Ma. But we're going to find out right now. Blow it, blow it, blow it, because it's really, really hot. Like, it's still on the fire, so... Um, I'm going to taste a piece of broccoli. Mm, mm, wow. I like it. I'm going to go for a carrot. I will say that Dollar Tree frozen food used to always, um, almost always have a freezer burn taste sometimes. Oh, your keyboard wouldn't come up. Okay, Philip. And Coach Mary Ma says, Coco has been doing an awesome job tasting. Thank you. You hear that? Perhaps. All right, Coco, I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the Super Clap music on because the Super Clap sign off because I tasted it and I love it. Mm, when you eat the potatoes with everything, it's really seasoned. So you like this? How do you think you would like this? Would you like it with more potatoes or over rice? Because we already have magic rice in the fridge. So this would go really well with the magic rice. And the magic rice has onions, cabbage, carrots, um, broccoli. I mean, excuse me, onions, garlic, carrots, and cabbage and corn. It has five things. So that's 25 points. Plus this, I think, had another 25. That's 50 points in one meal. So, y'all, I think we can go ahead and uh, get into our Super Clap sign-off. Once we answer this question, Coco, who's your favorite uncle? Who's your... Say that again. Philip Waldo Jr. says, who's your favorite uncle? <laughs> she says him. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's do it. Thank you all for being here today. I appreciate you all, and we are going to encourage you to be a health hero for your loved one. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your day. Get your clap in also, y'all. Do your thing. Cook some food. Go to the Dollar Tree. Spend $3 and enjoy. Hey, Nikki. Okay. Mary and LP. I love it. Mmm, mmm. Pop it up, pop it up. Thank you, LP. Thank you so much. It was a great live. Y'all make it great, Queen Lenora. Urban Gardening Chronicles. I love it when you come out of the bushes. We got our Jamaican friends in here. Y'all know she's fighting those animals in the garden, but she's winning the fight. So thank you, Urban Gardening Chronicles. I'm lurking over there. You're lurking over here. We're both lurking pros. <laughs> Uh-oh, Nikki claps on the one and three, not the two and four. Okay. That's my Jamaican clap, my island clap. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Y'all take care. Thank you again to Denise Anthony. Thank you for the love to JT Coin Rings. And, of course, JT Coin Rings is our 
Black Power Titan for today. Y'all try to catch up to him. Catch up to Unique Anthony doing all the good that they're doing. Oh yeah. You already know. Get the island clap in there. Absolutely, AJ is road tripping. Thank you. I'm out. Mm, mm. 